Hello, and welcome to the UC Application Overview for Transfer Students by the Office of Admissions at UC Santa Barbara. This UC Application Overview for Transfer video will share some things you should know about the UC application, transfer eligibility and selection, how to apply, resources for transfer students, and important dates and deadlines to follow. The University of California is comprised of 10 incredible campuses, with nine of the campuses being primarily undergraduate-focused universities. The UC's undergraduate campuses are located throughout the state of California, with each campus offering its own uniqueness. And with nine undergraduate campus options, we are confident that you'll find more than one campus that fits your interests and needs. One third of our entering students each year are transfers, and most come from California community colleges. If you prepare ahead of time, you can even get a guaranteed space at one of our six participating campuses through the transfer admission guarantee. All campuses consider transfer students at the junior level for fall admissions who have at least 60 semester or 90 quarter units of transferable credit. Very few campuses are open for admission to lower division transfer students or students with less than 60 semester or 90 quarter units of transferable college credit. It is very important to review each campus admissions requirements for transfer students to determine if you are eligible to transfer. What you should know about applying to the University of California is that the UC application is the only application that the University of California will accept for admission. The application is only available online at universityofcalifornia.edu-apply. The UC application opens on August 1st, however, applications may only be submitted during the fall application filing period between October 1st through November 30th. The fall 2025 filing period has been extended to December 2nd. It should be noted that applications are not reviewed on a first come or first serve basis. And lastly, communication with all applicants will occur primarily through email, so students will need to ensure that the email account they use for their applications is an email account they will regularly check even after the application deadline. The general admissions process does not allow for conducting interviews or reviewing external materials such as resumes, letters of recommendations, or demonstrated interests. Further, the University of California does not accept supplements such as portfolios or hold auditions unless they are specially required for a program and you are invited to submit the supplemental materials. Each UC campus that a student has applied to will receive a copy of the same application submitted, but those campuses will review the applications individually. Selection is determined by academic factors such as GPA and coursework, and non-academic factors such as activities, awards, involvements, and leadership experience. Some UC campuses may focus on both academic and non-academic factors for transfer admissions, while others may focus primarily on academics. Each UC campus places a different value on each application sections, and we evaluate your achievements in light of the opportunities that were available to you. When reviewing your applications, the UC campuses will use almost everything. We don't ask a question that we don't want the answer to. UC campuses do not collaborate on admissions decisions or compare applicants to one another, and we do not provide early admissions decisions. The University of California asks for race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, gender, religion, and other personal questions within the application. However, these are not used in the selection process and instead are formatted for statistical purposes after admissions decisions are completed. When you're ready to apply, you may head to universityofcalifornia.edu-apply to create your UC application account. Then you'll determine your applicant level. Transfer applicants or students who have completed high school, earned college credits, and enrolled in a regular session at a college or university for either the fall, winter, or spring term. You're then going to complete the UC application sections, including about you, selecting your campuses and major, inputting your academic history. For transfer students, you're going to want to add any college coursework from community colleges or other universities, including your test scores, activities and awards, scholarships and programs, and the personal insight questions. 
UCSB only accepts applications for transfer admissions in the fall term. To be eligible for transfer admissions at any UC campus, applicants must complete these requirements by the end of the spring term before fall transfer. The seven course patterns includes two courses in English composition, also called UCE, one course in mathematics, also called UCM, and four courses from at least two of the following three areas, arts and humanities, behavioral and social sciences, and biological and physical sciences. The minimum GPA to be considered for admissions is a 2.4 for California residents and a 2.8 for non-residents of California, though we usually admit students with higher GPAs than the minimum. Transfer applicants must also complete at least 60 semester or 90 quarter units of UC transferable credit to be eligible for junior transfer. Up to 19 or 21 quarter units of pass no pass credit may be used to meet the minimum eligibility requirements. There may also be specific course and GPA requirements for your intended major, which vary based on the major and the UC campuses that you apply to. While UC Junior Transfer eligibility is a minimum eligibility requirement in order to apply, UC Transfer Selection is what is going to make you a more competitive applicant at a UC campus. Some UC campuses will focus on a combination of academic or special non-academic factors like internships, extracurricular activities, or family commitments. Here at UC Santa Barbara, we are primarily focused on your academic preparation. We want our students to be ready to succeed academically after they transfer, and we want to see that you go above the minimum eligibility requirements. We'll consider your overall UC GPA and your major preparation GPA, which will be calculated through the end of the fall term that you apply. We'll also consider if you've completed the math and English requirements early on, and if you have decided to participate in the transfer admission guarantee and met all of those requirements. The UC application opens on August 1st, however, applications may only be submitted during the fall application filing period between October 1st through November 30th. The fall 2025 filing period has been extended to December 2nd. If you would like to participate in the transfer admission guarantee at our campus or any of the other six participating campuses, you may only submit between September 1st and September 30th. In January, we'll ask our transfer applicants for a transfer academic update where you'll be able to let us know how you ended off with your fall term grades and if there were any changes to your coursework. Mid to late April is when we normally release our admissions decisions for transfer students, and by June 1st, we'll ask that you submit your statement of intent to register, letting us know if you will be attending our campus in the fall. We strongly encourage you to create a UC Transfer Admissions Planner or UC TAP account, where you'll be able to track and plan your coursework and progress for meeting UC eligibility requirements. This will also allow UC staff to communicate important information. UC TAP is also where you can submit your TAC applications from September 1st to September 30th. The University of California prioritizes applicants from California Community Colleges. Applicants from California Community Colleges can utilize assist.org to review course transferability and major preparation requirements. The transfer admission guarantee is only open to students transferring from California Community Colleges and California Community College students can take advantage of designated UC admissions counselors. There are a variety of resources available to assist you throughout the application process. We encourage all future applicants to explore universityofcalifornia.edu-apply to learn more about the UC campuses and the application process. And of course, we recommend connecting with the Office of Admissions at the UCs you're interested in for more campus-specific information about their application process. I hope this information has been helpful. For more information, please check out our UC application webinar series and our transfer YouTube playlist at UCSB for me. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Best of luck to you in the application process and in your transfer journeys. Thank you for joining.